Uh, I saw a comment from Alex P. 2689. It says, uh, I was playing a cleric with a two-handed spell sword and it was blasting. So much burning and con flag combos you can do, and in melee range, your first ability is an instant cast. Then you use your divine power to instant cast your big damn judge, and your weapon buff gives additional fire damage, plus you have so many instant heals that it's insane. It's kind of like the rep pally. It's going to feel amazing when we get access to a second archetype. Uh, I think that sounds pretty cool. So uh, I think that sounds pretty cool. So I actually want to try Alex's build here. And uh, by the way, if you guys do leave a comment on my YouTube channel or any of my, any of my YouTube videos, I do actually go through and read like all the comments on my YouTube. I'm like staring at it constantly. So uh, if you guys want to leave a comment, let me know how the videos are and, and what you guys think, what you guys want to see from me and all that stuff. I'm, I'm actually like very engaged with the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Let's start a cleric today. I kind of, did you guys like, I, I saw some other comments about like the book. Do you guys like the book being out there for the Baron? I feel like I should be able to take the book, like put it up and bring it back out. Yeah, I'm not gonna, look, we already spent a lot of time making the other S fan. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it this time around. Uh, yeah, send it. Okay, so uh, dealing uh, 150 radiant damage if activated while in melee, the spell has no cast time. Ooh, healing and damage dealt, build up your divine power resource, which increases chance to critical hit with heals up to 10%. Okay. Let's go get our quests. Thank the gods you've disorient essence. You'll have pl we are having a bit of a goblin problem at the moment. Okay, this is the kill the goblins. Okay, so that's just my auto attack. So Juan, did it auto attack just whenever I left clicked him? Action mode is kind of weird. Where like it like locks your mouse look. Dude, I can press any button and I start attacking. So I just left click him and then I hit sprint. Oh wait, no. I did that earlier and it worked. Z for action mode. Oh, action mode, you left click. And then right okay, so if you press Z, you go into action mode. Is this new? Okay, so I right clicked him there and I started attacking. So if I smite, 10 second cooldown. Okay, so smite is basically like judgment. And then I hit that to self heal. But where's my divine power? And I can just spam heals. Oh, and it's charges. I have three charges. That, oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. This is kind of sick. I mean, I'll just never die. Look at my mana. Wait, Cleric is totally paladin -y. I've been told to go west to Lionhold or east to Samya's Hope. Let's go to Samya's Hope because I think I went to Lionhold last time. Welcome to Vera. A prideful man. Get your commissions here. Okay, we gotta find an official. What's this? Commission board. Oh, this is like, this is like kill quests. Is it easy to pick up or complicated? Uh, I think anytime you're playing an MMO for the first time, it's kind of complicated, to be honest. Valkyria, a woman dripped in leather and tough fabrics waves you over with a hand, not holding her longbow. Where am I? With a stride, beware of the crates. Who would do that? End dialogue. Okay. Mining station. Uh, a cheery manager looking to learn a trade. Cut the wood. Okay, I found the official, official Nurch. Nera, not Nurch. <laughs> this was a C. Question all updated. I need to attune my essence at the Ember Spring. Braidwood, this has gotta be the oak, right? Oh, this is ash. Chop that ash. Okay. Oh my gosh, I moved. For some reason I thought I could move while chopping. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.
Okay, two ash wood. What about this one? More ash? <clears throat> Timid web weaver. Six block. I feel like it doesn't make sense to block. Or either either it doesn't make sense to block or like I should always block. I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Yeah, cleric actually is essentially a paladin at this point. So so originally, here's something to talk about a little bit. Uh, I originally did not play a cleric because I thought a cleric was going to play more like a healer uh, at the low levels. I thought cleric was going to be a little bit more healer and a little bit less paladin. But as it turns out so far, cleric is very, uh, I mean, it plays very much like what you would expect a paladin to play like. Um, like I'm using a big two-hander that I picked up off the ground. Uh, I have my smite, which is like an instant cast in melee range, which is kind of like a paladin judgment, 10 second cooldown. I can even cast it at a range, but it's got a cast time. Uh, I have instant heals with my mend, right? Three charges, like boom, boom, boom. I can spam it. Kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, so far, cleric is kind of sick. Okay, look. Big smite. Mend, mend, mend. You see that? Four block. Swing. He's trying to get around me. Four block. Boom. Big smite. Nice. Oh, and did we level? We did. We did. Okay, so that's our first level. Okay. So now that we got our first level, I'm kind of getting my feet back under me after not playing for a week. We have our first skill point here. Okay, so on our first skill point, you can choose a skill. Divine Infusion, Passive Effect, or Ability Type. Uh, divine Infusion or Essence Infusion. Your spells consume divine power instead of mana or health. Ooh. Divine Infusion. Consume divine power to instantly complete the remaining cast time of any spell being cast. So let's say I'm casting a spell. Oh, this guy's going to come interrupt me. Divine Infusion. I press the spell through and I burn my divine power. It's, a, it's another resource. Uh, which gives me a higher chance to crit, I think. The amount of divine power consumed is proportional to the amount of cast time remaining. Mm. Let's try divine... Nah, divine infusion... Seem, well, I mean, these are kind of... These kind of aren't super exciting, so I'm just going to do essence infusion. Uh, and I can always respec later, so I'm going to put that point in there. I have a skill point here for my weapon. Deadly finisher, bleed, deadly finisher, snare, and deadly finisher, wound. 25% chance to trigger a deadly finisher that applies wounded to targets hit. Uh, 25 to activate a deadly finisher. What is, what is a deadly finisher? A finisher that deals additional damage and triggers additional deadly finisher effects. So the final hit of a standard weapon combo attack chain. So it's like every three auto attacks, I would proc a 25% move speed debuff. Or wound would be like mortal strike, a, a stacking 5% mortal strike. The bleed, 15%, oh, 15% weapon damage over six seconds. Okay, so I'll go bleed, probably. Like I would use wound or snare probably for PvP, but for just leveling, I'll probably go bleed. The divine power is stacking buff. So divine power is something that is, um, it basically gives you a higher chance to crit, I think. Healing and damage dealt build up divine power, which increased chance to crit with heals by 10%, up to 10% at full resource. Here's the biggest thing that I noticed. The biggest thing that I noticed whenever I played this game last week is I played it on Friday. I left Saturday to go to the University of Wisconsin to do that tailgate stream with Extra Emily. And I remember on the way back, I was like, damn, I can't wait to go back home and play Ashes. And I was like, I actually had fun playing. And the first alpha a few years back, I don't really remember that feeling of like, oh, that was super fun. Like I enjoyed the combat. I don't remember having that feeling. In fact, I don't even remember hardly anything about the combat back then. But playing a bard for me was very fun. Combat is good, it's easy to be optimistic. Yeah, I mean, there's still some things that need a lot of work, right? Like, uh, I mean, just being frank, I don't really like the movement necessarily. I think they should just copy WoW's movement. Yeah, I mean, I know some people who are not WoW players especially. Oh, frick, I wasn't even looking at my health. I wasn't paying attention. Have you tried Throne in Liberty? No, I, everybody kept 
telling me, oh, dude, S-Fan, you should try Throne of Liberty. You would really like it. And and some people made it sound really cool. But I've also asked other people, I'm like, what's Throne of Liberty like? And like yeah, it kind of feels like a traditional like Korean MMO, like an Eastern MMO. And I'm like, oh. Well, I don't, I don't really, I mean, personally, I've never gotten like full send into an Eastern, like any Eastern MMO. I played Lost Ark for a little bit and then... I, dude, I missed. A lo I, I didn't log into Lost Ark for one day, and then I just never logged in again. I don't know what happened to you guys with Lost Ark, if you guys played it, but for me, literally, I just didn't log in one day, and then I just didn't log in again. Because I, I, I feel like I, I, I got, I, I missed out. Like, that was one of those games where you had to log in every single day, and if you didn't, then you're behind, and it's just like, eh. I think designing a game around fo FOMO is, um... You're, you're kind of just setting yourself up for failure. All MMOs have a very big issue with uh, the player base, whether it's the active player base or the um, prospective player base. Just like the MMO player has so much natural fear of missing out that they end up not playing MMOs or being like afraid to start a new MMO. Uh, so much so that, okay, this is like a bad place to be. I don't want to be here. So much so that I think it impacts the uh, the genre pretty badly, both in terms of you know not getting people to play a game in the first place, but also like I think there's like a degree of tribalism that ends up festering and then getting even worse because of it because I think it's already there. But a lot of people have this like there can only be one mentality with MMOs, uh, and I think it's really bad to have that because in reality and this is what we've seen over time over years and years and years. You can't have only one. If you have only one, then you end up not having uh, any real competition. And then that one big MMO kind of starts getting on rails and it just follows the tracks, right? How's the game? I like it. Now, it has a lot of problems. Like, it's, like, not there yet. Uh, shut up, Goblin. Uh, I mean, I think, for one, the... Uh, I, I don't really like the movement. Right? I think the movement could, could be better. I think the art style is a little bit weak. I would like to see a little bit more of a uh, distinct art style to it that would make it stand out. But I think the graphics are not as bad as people act like it is. I mean, pe people, everybody always says every game looks bad at graphics, this, that. And like, dude, how many, oh, did I crash it? Oh. Like, if we're being, if we're being 100% honest with ourselves, how many games have come out that are just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, amazing graphics, you know, giga ray tracing, uh, minimum requirements, you need a 5070 to, to play it or whatever. And the games are just ass, right? Like it's it's really not about graphics in the traditional sense. People say the graphics are bad or the graphics are good. If the art style of the game is good, you don't really need that like the greatest amount of graphical fidelity for something to be, for, some, for a game to be good or for a game to stick, right? In fact, and I, talk, I have talked about this several times, but if, you, if you're if you like going for a more realistic, <laughs> this bug is hilarious. Actually, let's go, to, I wanna, what is that? Let's run to it. Maybe, maybe it just looks like this far away. If you're going for realistic graphics, it is inevitable that eventually your game is gonna be outdated because, but if you have a game like, like World of Warcraft, vanilla, the, the art style of vanilla is timeless. Dude, I'll even take it as far as saying, um, RuneScape, old school. It has its own unique art style, and even though it's like polygons, it's it's timeless in its own sense, right? Like people look at it and they're like, "That's old school. That's OSRS." Uh, you look at games like you look at a game like Super Mario sixty four for the Nintendo sixty four, right? It's a Nintendo sixty four game. I didn't even say that when WoW updated their art style. It hurt. Yeah, I mean they they did kind of update their art style, right? Um, in uh, in what was it and um, it still has its own distinct style plentiful mend mend has two additional charges it already has a lot it already has three with a three second cooldown escalating mend men's healings increase each time it is used in quick succession so if i spam mend it'll be like boop, 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 boop. Uh, resplendent beam held ability. Fire a beam of healing energy towards an ally. Charging allows the beam to bounce up to four. Okay, chain, it's like a chain heal. Judgment. If cast on an ally, restores health equal to 1,500% of your spell power. If cast on an enemy, 
It deals 280% radiant damage and applies burning. Ooh. Well, we got to get judgment. Yeah, we got to get judgment. I mean, we, uh, judgment, judgement, judgement. We, uh, we have to. Soothing glow. What a soothing glow. Uh, so, oh, it's like a it's like a renew. Okay. Flash cure. Instantly heal a target ally. This may be used during other ability activations. Oh, wow. So flash cure. I can be casting another spell, and I can cast that spell while I'm casting another one. Flash cure. I'm playing a cleric. I mean, I might just make it easy and go for two more charges. I mean, I could get the renew. Two charges of a renew. Yeah, let's get plentiful men. I, I like having five, five charges. That is kind of sick. Judgment. Okay, let's look at our weapon. Weapon skills. I have, I have one skill point for my weapon. Extra damage. All weapon combo attacks with passive more damage. All weapon 3% penetration. Uh, deadly finisher trigger chance is increased by 10%. Finisher into the damage. Ooh. Yeah, let's... Um, so this is just natural more damage. This is um, armor pen. This is higher chance to have a burst damage, and this is just more burst damage. I'm going to go Deadly Finisher just because it's cool. <clears throat> to proc the bleed. Gain an additional 1% movement speed every second while sprinting in combat. Okay, this is the big judgment. Look at the spell cast. Okay. Okay, that was kind of cool. Dude, that was a pretty cool animation. <clears throat> that was kind of sick. What is the cooldown on that? 18 second cooldown. That was kind of cool, dude. My wild brain is like, can I macro that and everything? I know, right? I was doing the same thing. Look at this. Look at this. Big judgment. Big judgment. Big judgment. Bam. That's A. And then a burning fire proc. Oh, it's dead. Okay, we need to go and like attune ourselves to the uh, the thing. Wait, hold on. I'm casting judgment on nobody, so it's going to heal. 450 heal. Heck, Captain Roderick Bloodbane. Okay, Does this game have any quests? Well, dude, the most effective way that I'm, uh, people have been like playing this game, the level, is they've been grinding mostly. Yeah, the quest system is kind of um, janky, but it doesn't hand like it shouldn't hold your hand. The oh, hey, it shouldn't hold your hand the entire time, but at the same time, it should point you in the right direction, and it kind of is. Okay, weathered oak timber. We need some of this. Okay, claim. Uh, send to inventory. Um, bring the weathered oak timber to trades manager Hernet in the workshop. I will. Mr. Hernet. Okay, well, this is Euler. Okay, you can give it to anybody. So you can give it to any trades manager. Objective complete. The trade manager provided me with some corroded zinc fragments that I can use to forge into a pickaxe. I can do so at the mining tool station. Okay, mining tool station right here. I'm crafting, I'm crafting. Okay, required corroded zinc, weathered oak timber. I can make this. This is selected. It's the only thing that I can select, and I'm going to craft it. So it's a gathering tool that is now crafted. United Trades focuses the ashlar blocks to shore up the walls. I can use my new pickaxe to gather some eroded granite granite near the cliffs. I should be able to process the eroded grant. Uh, no, grantine, excuse me into eroded granite. Wait. Yeah, hand-holding is not a little bit of guidance. Yeah, exactly. It's two different things. <clears throat> Turbo goes hard. It, dude, I can't even... I can't imagine. I cannot imagine using Twitch Mobile without Turbo. Okay, I gotta attune to this Ember Spring here. I need to deliver the shoddy granite Ashley to a trades manager. I'll give it to him. Here they are. Okay, welcome to Vera and Matter. I've been told to go to West Lion. I visit. Oh, okay. Uh, novice health salve and dull glint. Quest complete. Welcome to Vera. Welcome to Dallas. Uh, do you guys want to see the big stick? Ta da! So, this is my bard. Level five. Oh, I So. I gotta get the rhythm again. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. So, I figured this bug out whenever I was trying to see if I could like twist my songs. Oh, see, so it got bigger for a second. Here, I'll get real big in a second. Ah, look. You see how big it was? 
Dude, I- Oh, yeah! Look at that! That's a big boy! What do those skills look like? Giant spork? Um, which one? Ability- wait. Oh, wait, this guy stunned me? What? Captain Roderick Bloodbane? Wait, what does he have? Morale boost. Raise shield. Oh, wait, okay. So I'm waiting. Oh my gosh, dude. You just freaking stunned me, you ass. Judgment? Oh my gosh, he keeps interrupting me. That's my big damn. Dude, okay, so the the cooldown triggers even if it gets interrupted. If you don't get the spell cast off it, it it's still uh, interesting. But there's no way I die. Okay, I'm stunned. Stun's on cooldown. Big damn judge right here. Big damn judge. Big damn judge. Yeah! Cool guys don't look at explosion. Sick. I like Cleric so far. It's pretty good. I think maybe I liked Bard a little bit more. Okay, good. Nice. That's scary. Road looks too big and empty. Um, I mean, I think there's certain things that are cool, right? Like, I mean, I I think this this whole castle area is pretty sick, right? Maybe it's a little bit too wide open. Um. Yeah, I think it is a little bit too open, but it looks, this does look really cool. Like, I think, I think one of the things with Ashes. No. One of the things with Ashes that I think is, is 100% like legit is when, when you look at like a, if you look at it real like up close and you look at like the whole picture. You get like a big, big, like wide view of this. It is pretty damn cool. It does look pretty damn cool. Like the game does have like problems of like, I think uh, not having a unique enough art style, but at the same time, not everything about it is bad. I thought I get your horse. I actually did get the horse. Uh, I think it's in my bags. Um, hmm. Mycelian? Oh, frick! That's why you don't touch every mushroom that you see. Okay, so uh, as far as Ashes of Creation goes, uh, Cleric seems cool too. I don't know if I liked Cleric or Bard better so far. I mean, I'm only level 4 on the Cleric. I was level 5 on the Bard. I do like that you start having a more robust kit pretty early on. Uh, it's not, I mean, obviously it's not super fleshed out. You're only like level three, right? Four or five. Um, but you start having something that makes your character feel cool pretty early. And if you have too much of that, it's not good. But having a little bit of that right off the bat to give you a taste, I do think is pretty cool. So far, I've tried the cleric. I've tried the bard. Uh, I like them both. Cleric feels a lot more like what I would expect a rep paladin to feel like uh, than what I had imagined in my head. I didn't really imagine cleric to, to play the way that it does. Um, 
So that was cool. So I'm glad he did that. And then, um, yeah. So Ashes is, uh, I mean, it's still got a ways to go. It's still got a, a, a solid ways to go. But the Alpha is going to open up next week a little bit more. Uh, it's already here, right? If you're if you're in Alpha Two, then you know if you if you the first wave for the first two weeks is pretty small, and they're opening it up for something else. I don't know the details, but there's a way that you can get in now. Uh, but it's next week, so not now, now, but next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are excited uh, as excited about Ashes and really just MMOs and games in general. Look, I, look, I'm an I'm an old school gamer. I, I like classic MMOs. I like classic games. This channel was all about classic WoW for years before it even came out, right? I don't know. I, I'm I'm always gonna be looking into new MMOs and gonna be excited for like these different RPGs and stuff like that. And, and there's a lot of things that are my own personal, like my my content and stuff that I haven't been able to work on lately. And I can talk about that a little bit more down the road. But um, just with everything going on with like. You know, whether it's like I, I have like an OTK obligation or I have this or that and there's just too many things at once and I'm kind of like, it's almost like I'm shooting a shotgun at the screen and just, you know, just a little bit in every category as opposed to like really focusing on any one thing at a time and it's kind of been messing with things, right? But that consistency is going to come. It's going to get a lot better. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy Ashes. Make sure to sub to the YouTube channel. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Whatever it is, everything is S-Fan TV. So, sub to everything. There's gonna be a lot more new stuff coming. Uh, I hope to get back to my regular go live at noon central time every day schedule very soon. But there's also gonna be a lot more stuff coming on the YouTube channel as well. Yeah, a lot more stuff coming on the YouTube channel and stuff. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And YouTube, we'll see you guys later. Bye.